Hello everybody, it's Tom and Jerry Fan 64 here. It's now time to do a movie review sort of rant on American Psycho 2. This isn't going to be a complete rant, but it's just going to I'm going to put title it the sort of rant on American Psycho 2. This is the 2003 sequel to the 2000 film American Psycho. And this one stars This is a 2003 movie, excuse me. Sorry about that. This movie stars Mila Kunis, Drake, Wynn Davies, William Shatner, Robin Dunn, and Lindy, Lindy Booth. And I know this movie has a 0% of Rotten Tomatoes, but I decided to watch these movies because recent, just today, um, Chelsea Rebecca, who is from the, who's the wife of Dead Meat, the de who's one of the people involved with the, the YouTube channel Dead Meat, she released a kill count to the first one. So I decided to watch these movies, but... To be honest, there's there's no denying that American Psycho 2 is a very bad movie. It's far it's it has nothing to do with the first one, first of all. But I think Mila Kunis and William Shatner saved the movie. The reason why I watch this is because I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Mila Kunis. That's the only reason why I watch this. But there's no denying this movie's a piece of crap, but I don't know what the hell they were thinking thinking this was going to be a great sequel to the first. This does have a Patrick Bateman reference, but only once in this movie. That's the only reason why this movie is actually a, a called American Psycho 2. And not even Mila Kunis liked this movie, but I do respect her opinion. I thought she saved the movie for me. Because if you guys didn't know, Mila Kunis is one of my top celebrity crushes. She's probably number three for me, maybe four. She is definitely one of the most cutest celebrities and one of the more the more hottest celebrities. And I, I actually regret not putting her on my top ten list of celebrity crushes. I regret not putting her in it. I should have put her as an honorable mention. I would watch anything with Mila Kunis because I've, I've been a huge fan of her ever since I watched Family Guy for the first time. And she's a great actress there's no denying she's a great actress, but and I do hope to see her the movie she made with Justin Timberlake called Friends with Benefits. But the movie I remember her as I I really I I think her performance in Ted was also was really good, really really awesome. A lot of people say that the movie Ted is not funny at all, but I think it's a pretty funny movie. But American Psycho 2, there's no denying this movie's terrible, but I kind of had a guilty pleasure feeling for this one. And I have to admit, giving it a 0% is kind of harsh. If it were me, I would give it like a 29. Yeah, there's no denying this movie's god-awful. But I will get this movie on DVD for the collection. I know there's a Blu-ray release of this, but since I didn't like this movie, I don't think this movie deserves... I deserves to be in my collection on Blu-ray, but I will get it on DVD. I don't think, I don't think American Psycho 2 deserved a Blu-ray in my opinion. They should have given it to some to Panic Room or something. But this movie is definitely one of the worst sequels. This is still going on my least favorite movies list. But I, there's no denying this movie's awful. But I kind of had a good. T I actually had a. This movie is so bad it's hilarious. This isn't a scary movie, but I think the kills are pretty decent. But there, there's no denying that this movie's god awful. This is the this should not this this was a very unnecessary sequel, and plus it didn't have anything to do with the first American Psycho. But my the the reason why, like I said, the only reason why I watched this was because Mila Kunis, one of my celebrity crushes, is in it, and she definitely saved the movie. But I think they should have put Christian Bale and and not only in was to Patrick Bateman only in the movie for one scene. He was he was played by a different actor. I wish if Christian Bale was in this movie, this movie if Christian Bale played him, this would have been a better film. But they replaced him. So yeah, this movie is definitely a god awful movie. It's one of the worst movies I've seen in a while, but. This movie is, I, I kind of have a good time, I, it's a movie that I can have a good, cringeworthy time with. So yeah, I'm going to give the movie, the American Psycho 2, uh, a 4 out of 10 stars. 
I would have given it at least a five, but it's it's just not that great. So I'm gonna give it a four out of ten, and I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it an F. I'm still going to give it an F because this movie is definitely does not deserve your attention. It's not one of the best sequels out there. So yeah, and so yeah, that is it for my movie review sort of rant to um, American Psycho 2. And I'm trying not to lose my cool here, but this movie was definitely awful. But I will still get this movie on DVD. And if there's a VHS release of this, since it was released in 2003, I believe there might be a VHS of this one. I will get the VHS and DVD for the collection if there is a VHS, to be honest. So yeah, that is it for my review, movie review slash rant on American Psycho 2, All-American Girl, in which I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're generous enough, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribe. Plus, it really helps out. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, everybody. Adios.